Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah the question was asked about studying in the west or making hijrah uh, first and foremost whatever opportunity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you with to study his religion you need to take that وَمَنْ يُرِدَ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُفَقُوا فِي الدِّينَ As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh fi deen. He gives him understanding of the religion. And so, if a person is blessed to go and study and be in the land where there's scholarship and where the scholars are and sit at the feet of Ahl al-Ilm, there's no doubt that it is superior to the one who stays in the West or wherever they may be where there are either no scholars or few scholars. So there's no comparison uh, in, in uh, that ni'mah min ni'amillah. And so my advice for those who have the means, the financial means, and the ability to be able to travel and uh, seek knowledge is that they should strive their best to do so that they should, if they have the means, the financial means, uh, and they're able to, they don't have any family issues or other issues that may uh, uh, be a hindrance for them, then they should. They should go sit with the scholars and, and sit in the land where they're scholars. However, if we look at the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has opened up many, many paths for people to uh, study. You can learn Quran, you can learn Sunnah, you can learn all the various sciences pretty much. Even in, in the West, you can do it online. If you, ha if you get the tools of the Arabic language, you can listen to the durus, the, the lectures and the lessons of the scholars day in, day out, until you, you cannot listen anymore. You can spend the rest of your entire life with one hard drive, and you could, you know, you would never even complete all the daros in any of the sciences, basically, that you want to study. And that's not like sitting with the ulama, but it is the best, that, the best situation that, that uh, for some people. So, uh, my advice for those who have the means is to go abroad and study. If you don't have the means and you and and other things are hindering you from doing so, then study where you are. And there's Islamic, uh, Muslim Islamic uh, online universities now. There are many programs. Uh, and and uh, one that I recommend is the Medina. Uh, University online, which um, I myself am teaching, but Alhamdulillah, Sheikh um, Sheikh Muhammad Maliki is teaching there, and 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 many other tulab and some shayukh, and that is one beneficial program amongst the many programs. So there's many online mahads now and programs that are official programs if you want rasmiya and then there's many different ways to seek knowledge that are that there are no certificates that there are no things but you can get pure and so there's many many opportunities now for people to study and seek the knowledge and come closer to Allah because that's what it's about and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm and nafia wa rizqan tayyiba wa amal mutaqabbilan وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم